I'm Zeno Roman for the Surfcasters Journal, and today I want to talk to you about these line stretcher lures. It's one of those unappreciated lures that really work in so many ways, but a lot of people are either A, afraid of using it, or B, they are not sure how to use it, so they kind of don't. Um, what are the benefits? Well, first, they're made out of plastic, so they are literally indestructible, okay? They, they will outcast 99% of the lures on the market, which in some ways it doesn't mean much because not a lot of times you're going to need the longest cast on the beach to catch a fish. Uh, we were recently in Mexico last week, and uh, as you can see by the footage here, um, we have caught uh, a lot of uh, jacks, uh, uh, rooster fish. Uh, most, our most productive lure has been the yellow three ounce um, line stretcher. We have brought a bunch of Roberts Rangers, tins, and all kinds of topwater lures, uh, Sabeel stick shads. Most of our lures did come on the yellow uh, line stretcher. Um, when you fish the tropics, you're going to uh, crank these lures as fast as possible and they're just going to skip on a sur surface because usually when you fish for these fish they want to fast and faster so there is no really um, a way to use them in slow motion like we use it for striped bass let's say in the northeast however when you come home and you use them for striped bass and bluefish and not weak fish I'm going to say not weak fish because we always Kind of lump weak fish with the other species well these plugs usually i would not use for weak fish uh, so you would use them the same way you would use your popper where you will slow down a little bit on your retrieve and use it in some in some sense like the super strike popper speed instead of cranky really fast like you would for a jack or rooster fish or something like that uh, in the tropics um, it, they come in four sizes uh, three ounces two ounces, one and a quarter, and I think three quarters. I don't have the three quarters here, which by the way, the three quarters and, and one and a quarter are deadly for albies. Um, it's probably one of the better lures to use for a uh, false albacore or a little toony or whatever you call them. Um, basically cast out there, crank them as fast as you can right through the schools. Uh, they like the speed, they are pelagic species, just like all those tropical ones. They want it fast and faster, so crank as fast as you can. Just keep it over the surface and you catch plenty of fish. Uh, my friends who use these uh, do very well, especially off the boats. Uh, with a smaller version, ones that are great imitators of a smaller, smaller bait. Now, you can use them different ways. You can use them um, with the um, treble hooks. Uh, you can use it with a single hook, so a lot of times when we get into the good uh, bite of fish, I don't want to be unhooking the fish with treble hooks every cast, so I'll go to the single hook. You can also add um, feathered hook on the back. Uh, I haven't used them at night, so I'm not going to tell you that uh, they are these great producers. All I'm thinking is, I know I've used super strict poppers at night, and I know they have a little bit of a wiggle motion, and they work great at night, and obviously when you need that distance to get them over the bar. I'm not certain how these would work, but I would definitely try it, because they come right up the top, and you can keep them right on surface, especially in a darker color. Um, it is hard when you need to reach the fish to get a better plug in your hand, uh, they will cast further for its size uh, than line stretcher. Uh, so give it a shot. Take a look at their website. They have a bunch of different models, a lot of colors. Uh, you know, a lot of stores carry them. So uh, take a look. It's something different, something definitely underused, and something that when we go to Mexico, I definitely bring 50 of them. So, you know, it's something that I believe in um, when, when the, the time and, and, you know, the situation needs, be that a albacore or something else, um, I definitely reach for one of these.